Everybody, the fight for marriage equality going to federal court for the first time in Nevada. A national gay rights advocacy group is suing the state to allow LGBT couples to marry. The Lambda Legal Defense and Education Fund claims that eight same-sex couples in Nevada are being discriminated against because they are not allowed to marry. The lawsuit seeks to void a 2002 state ban. Fake country, strangle me, take things from me, sit on me. Give it to him hard! All right, so that is a heartbreaking moment from the movie Bully, which is still generating a lot of buzz at the box office, so much so that on Tuesday in Sacramento, dozens who lined up to see it were turned away at the door because the theater was overbooked. Now, despite that demand and last Friday's PG-13 ratings change, educator, ed, educators say that the film alone is not enough to remedy the real problem. Randy Weingarten is the president of the American Federation of Teachers and joins me now here in the studio. So, Randy, you've seen this movie. Right. We had uh, a screening last night in Washington. The, the reaction that you have is that the old attitude of boys are just going to be boys, that just can't stand anymore. So what are the tangible policies that schools, educators can put in place to help curb this epidemic in the country? Hey, there's probably four things that we can do um, and we should be doing. But number one, the movie opens on Friday. People should see it. Parents, teachers, kids they should see it. It is compelling and devastating. So what number one is awareness because we have to change the culture of that bullying or just having to be tough is a rite of passage. Mm -hmm. We have to change that culture and it's deeply embedded in American culture. Number two, so awareness and telling the stories like this movie does is huge. Number two, education. In terms of once people see the stories, what is it that we should be doing instead. How can we create tolerance and respect mm -hmm. and safe schools? And number three is intervention. So one of the things we're doing as our national union, the AFT, is for adults to wear a wristband that says, see a bully, stop a bully. So that kids know mm -hmm. if they see an adult with this wristband or a kid with this Here, wristband. Can we hold, hold those up for the they, camera? They are safe. Those so folks are safe. The good navy blue here. But what? Exactly. What? How much pressure is being put on educators, school administrators, to stop the problem itself? Because a movie like this obviously showcases the situation. It doesn't focus on just one state. It focuses on several different states. Right. Backstories of a lot of kids that are coming into bullying situations, and they're just not all one note. Right. So. How can uh, this attention really put pressure on school administrations to change things? Well, we have to actually make this, uh, as I said before, we have to make it a cultural um, norm. And so it takes community, not simply schools. Right. But when schools actually know that this is wrong and that climate counts as much as testing, that will start changing the culture. Um, I think the movie goes a long way, but we also have to have good education and good interventions that really protect kids so that they know they are safe in schools and that we will keep them safe. Uh, I want to get on the facts uh, of what teachers are facing in this country right now because we ask a lot of our educators right. and our school administrators. Budget-wise, 76% of teachers report their school budgets are decreased. 63% say their class sizes are increased. Uh, when we look at how internationally uh, school systems are, are functioning and, and flourishing, how do we compare and what can we maybe pick and cherry pick right. from other countries and implement right here in the U.S.? So this is a perfect example of where, so when you bring these two together, school climate counts, and we need some resources to have the guidance counselors and the other folks that kids need desperately these mm -hmm. days. And we don't have those resources, so there's more and more pressure on teachers. Even though they know what they need to do, they don't have the resources to do it. That is completely different in the countries that outcompete us. So what we say is, those countries outcompete us. Them, they are good, America is bad. What we don't do is we don't actually look at why. So this is what they do. Number one, they really train their teachers. They train their teachers like we train our doctors. Mm -hmm. Huge value. Number two, schools are valued, teachers are valued. So competitively paid, tools and conditions are there. And number three, people work together like they don't in the United States. So building capacity of teaching force, huge respect, and working together. American Federation of Teachers President Randy Weingarten. I'm Thank gonna you. keep these. I'm Fantastic. always in the market Thank for you. a good anti-bullying uh, bracelet. So thanks so much.